Now I'm going to show you how to do some, a really easy appetizer for a smoker or a grill. Um, it's, all it is is I take a store-bought smoked kielbasa. Uh, you can use any brand you want. Today I've got some Hillshire Farms, but it's just whatever's on sale usually. And these don't need much. They're already fully cooked. You're just warming them up in a smoked environment. I always throw a little bit of rub on the outside of them. I use the barbecue rub. It goes great. And I'll put them on along beside whatever else I'm cooking if I got the smoker going. If not, I can just fire up a propane grill real fast and grill them off. They're really better smoked. But I'll show you what they look like when they come off in about an hour. I'm just taking them to about 140 internal safe eating temperature. And we'll cut them on the bias and we're, we're going to build a sausage and cheese platter. And that's something that you see on just about every restaurant in the Memphis area has got that as an appetizer. It's different kinds of cheeses cut with smoked sausage served with the a honey mustard or a barbecue sauce and crackers and pepperoncini peppers. It's really a good appetizer for entertaining, say a tailgate party or if you're just having people over and watching a football game and you want something quick to throw out, have a couple of these sausages in the refrigerator, throw them on your grill and next time you know your friends will be Put my smoked sausage on. Got a little extra room here so I just kind of put it on the grate, nothing fancy. It's on the hottest side. It'll be done in about an hour. I don't have much to worry about with it. I'll flip it halfway through but I'll show you how to put together that sausage and cheese platter so as we get to about an hour. Um, smoked sausages come off the grill. They got some nice little grill marks on them and basically I was just heating them up because they're already cooked. But what I do to serve these is just come in and slice them kind of on a biased just to create a little look. It's just an angle cut. And then we're going to serve these with some different kinds of cheese. You can use whatever you want. This time I'm lucky enough I had a, a Friend sent me some real Wisconsin cheese to try out and see what I thought about it. And man, it's really some good stuff. We got a five year old cheddar and a pepper jack and just like a, a plain a one, one year age silo cheese. But I probably won't have to cut all these up because that's a smaller platter. But I'll just stay with the angle cut. Then you can serve them with pepperoncini peppers. That's usually the norm. Uh, we see pickles on the tray, olives whatever you like, but it's a fast appetizer. It's really good and you just throw out some toothpicks and you might want to keep some sausage in reserve because these will go pretty fast and you'll have to cut up, you'll be cutting up more before you know it. The presentation's real simple. Just throw the sausage on your platter. I like to take it and sprinkle it with just a touch more rub. Throw in some pepperoncini peppers few places on it and you've got a real easy barbecue appetizer that'll please any crowd I promise you